in September 2017, I released a video on this channel called Ancient Indian Pseudoscience. Now that video got a lot of hate, probably from the people who saw the title and the thumbnail and thought I was disrespecting our ancestors or maybe I was hating India. Out of anger, they probably decided to leave a dislike and a hate comment. But I really appreciate the vast majority of you that decided, hey, this guy is actually making sense and decided to support me on the video. That video as of today is the most viewed video on this channel with uh, a greater than 50% like to dislike ratio. Now, one of the criticisms that I got for the video was that I used Ralph Griffith's translation of the Vedas. Apparently, no Western translation can capture the true essence of the Vedas. And by using such a translation, I'm basically seeking the approval of the West. Me using his translation has nothing to do with the fact that he's from the West. The only reason that I used Ralph Griffith's translation was because I wanted a literal translation. And I'll gladly use an Indian translation if it's literal. But sadly, every single Indian translation that I've seen uh, is not literal. It very liberally interprets the Vedas and, uh, and it leads to things like this. It often finds things in the Vedas that are not really there. This is usually because they're trying to glorify the Vedas, interpret the Vedas liberally enough, and you can find literally anything in there. But we don't want that, do we? We want what's actually there, especially when we're trying to analyze the science that's there, right? And there'll always be a set of people who don't have access to this information. They'll blindly believe you when you tell them there's so much science in the Vedas. Now, why is that a problem, you ask? Four weeks ago, Patanjali released a medicine for COVID-19, which according to Baba Ram, they've had a 100% cure rate. Now, I made a video on why Patanjali should be criticized for this, uh, but I should have waited a few more days because just a week after that, Patanjali came out and not only did they retract their earlier statement, they actually claimed that they never marketed this drug as a cure for COVID-19. They only marketed it as an immunity booster. I swear the PR department at Patanjali is made up of a bunch of incompetent five-year-olds that don't understand how the internet works. Anything that you put up there is permanent for anyone to keep a record of. I think we can all agree that Patanjali should not be allowed to play with people's lives like this. But unfortunately, they're going to get away with this. And they're going to pull stunts like this again in the future and they're going to get away with it again. Why? Thanks to the gullibility of people and their money. India seriously lacks scientific literacy. Not literacy, scientific literacy. They cannot properly identify in a scientific manner what's true or not. I know educated people who will gladly take fake alternative medicines. They readily believe in the supernatural. They believe in things like astrology, that someone can tell their future by looking at the stars. Why? Because there's this respect for all these ideas because they're all part of our culture. Dr. Tejal Kanatkar gave a beautiful speech on this in the Mumbai Collective 2017. I'll leave a link to that. Uh, in the description but I'm only paraphrasing her here now she says that there's a reverence there's a certain uh, respect of the past that we have as Indians and we're not completely ready to let go of it I'm not denying our past I'm not saying that we didn't make great achievements there are a lot of wonderful achievements by our ancestors like Aryabhata, Shushruta, Madhava and we should be proud of all these things. But that doesn't mean we go around parading uh, fake false claims as achievements of our ancestors. In 2015, during the Indian Science Congress, a claim was made about how ancient Indians had advanced aviation technology. We've all heard claims about the benefits of cow urine uh, and how cow skin 
ബ്രീത്ത് ഔട്ട് ഓക്സിജൻ അബ്സോർബ് റേഡിയേഷൻ ആൾ ദൈ ആൾ ദീസ് തിങ്സ് നാ വൈ ഡു വൈ ഡു പീപ്പിൾ തിങ്ക് ദ കെൻ മേക്ക് ദീസ് ഔട്ട് ലാൻഡിഷ് ക്ലെയിംസ് ഇൻ ഗെറ്റ് അവേ വിത്ത് ഇറ്റ് ദ കെൻ മേക്ക് ക്ലെയിംസ് ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ബിക്കോസ് വി അലൗ ആൾ കൈൻഡ്സ് ഓഫ് അതർ മീനിങ് ലെസ് ബുൾഷെറ്റ് ഇൻ ആർ ഡെയിലി ലൈഫ്സ് ആർ ട്രഡീഷൻസ് ആർ റെഡിൽഡ് വിത്ത് സൂഡോ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് സൂപ്പർസ്റ്റിഷ്യസ് ബിലീവ്സ് and sometimes when faced with them we just look the other way how many times has your mom or your dad told you not to go out during the eclipse how dangerous that was how many times have they consulted something like vastu shastra when looking for a new house or astrology before marriage now i'm not trying to single out any religion here but I've been brought up in a Hindu household so these are the things that I can relate to. I know every single religion has its fair share of superstitions. Now even though we know that these ideas have no evidence for them and they're complete pseudoscience, we still go with them. Why? Because they seem like harmless stuff, right? Wrong. It's these small innocent superstitions that provide the grounds for bigger uh, pseudoscience claims to survive. The fight starts at home folks. Question every little thing you're told in the name of belief. Think critically. I want to create a community of people that think critically and scientifically. That's what this channel is for. I want to create a lot of content on topics like these and if you want to see content like that on your feed subscribe to my channel and help me reach a lot more people and let's create a community together share my videos and i just wanted to wrap up by saying one last thing at the time of making this video at the time of recording amitabh bachchan and his family have released statements that they've tested positive for covid-19 i hope they come out of this ordeal completely medically healthy and fit i hope everyone that's involved comes out of this um healthy but i want to talk about this amita bachchan is a very vocal supporter of the ayush ministry which constantly peddles pseudoscience the h in ayush stands for homeopathy which is just complete quackery uh, it it's basically fake medicine look it up now um when push comes to shove whenever there's a serious illness rich folks like amitabh bachchan will only go for scientific medicine because uh, they trust it they can afford it it's the poor folk it's the common man it's the people who can barely afford scientific medicine who are going to see messages like these and think that homeo is a valid option they're going to uh, they're going to offer something like that because it's cheaper and they're going to suffer through their illness this is why india needs scientific literacy i'll see you in my next video till then remember science is dope